Hello and uh, welcome back to Vibs Biochemistry once again and this time we will be discussing Gibbs Donen uh, effect or Gibbs Donen phenomenon. Now Gibbs Donen effect actually explains the uh, property of or behavior of charged particles, charged cations or charged anions which uh, uh, differentially distributes across a semi-permeable membrane under the influence of a non-permeable uh, cation or anion. Now, like for example, cation, uh, sodium cation, potassium cation or um, H plus ions, these are cations and the anions are there like chloride anion, then hydroxyl anion or um, bicarbonate anion. These molecules usually uh, distribute themselves uh, easily across uh, a semi-permeable membrane. But if there is a presence of uh, an impermeable, mem uh, impermeable molecule, for example, a protein anion on one side of the membrane, these molecules, the permeable molecules, do not permeate uh, or move across the membrane freely. So this will be, uh, the, the movement of permeable molecules will be heavily influenced by the impermeable molecule on one side of the membrane. So this is actually explained by gibbs donen effect. And as a result, uh, there will arise what is called an electrical uh, gradient also because of the different, differential distribution of uh, these anions and cations on either side of the membrane, the electrical charge will be uneven and as a result, an electrical uh, potential also will be there which is called uh, uh, Donen membrane potential. And now this was actually explained by uh, the Josia, American physicist Josia Willard Gibbs and British chemist Frederick G. Donen. So, <clears throat> So this is our Donen potential because of electrical gradient and we can actually explain the, this phenomenon taking some of the examples of anions and cations which are permeable. We are taking the permeable sodium cation and permeable chloride anion uh, to explain this phenomenon. The, the impermeable molecule that is considered for, this, uh, for, the, for explaining this, uh, this phenomenon here uh, is protein anion protein anion. Now first of all let us see how normally sodium and potassium distribute across a membrane in the absence of an impermeable membrane. So this is what happens. There is no impermeable uh, anion, protein anion present there. So uh, here now the distribution starts and uh, so this is how uh, normally uh, the anions and cations. So the cation represented here is a purple colored uh, sodium uh, cation and uh, the green uh, Chloride anion is also represented there. So they distribute like this till uh, both the molecules become evenly distributed like this. So you can he see here, here uh, on the left side there are four molecules of uh, sodium cation and an uh, equal uh, number of uh, chloride anions. So this is what happens usually. But consider a case when on one of, one, one of the sides, uh, let us say on side two, there is the presence of a protein anion. Now, the presence of protein anion influence the, influences the movement of these permeable uh, cations and anions uh, like this. So here, this is a protein anion represented here. So because of the presence of this protein anion, the distribution will be different like this. Like this. And till an equilibrium is reached, when we can see here, uh, there is an accumulation of uh, sodium cations on side 2 here uh, when compared to side 1. As well as uh, on, uh, on, uh, we can see here the chloride anion is accumulated here on side 1 in comparison to uh, side 2. So this is, uh, this is how uh, an impermeable molecule, the presence of impermeable molecule on one side of a semi-permeable membrane affects or influences the movement of permeable molecules. Now here uh, actually there is a uh, pattern uh, even though the distribution is unequal there is a pattern here this is a start uh, on side one equal number of uh, um, cations and anions like here also but here protein is the the impermeable molecule and at equilibrium this is what happens. Okay, This is what happens at equilibrium. But still you can see that 6 into 6, 12 molecules, here also 3 into 12, uh, 36, 6 into 6, 36, here also 3 into 12, 36 molecules. Now, uh, so this is actually, yeah, sodium gets accumulated on one side, 
chloride gets accumulated on the other side. And uh, what are the applications applications of donated membrane, membrane equilibrium uh, in uh, biological systems? We know that uh, we have got uh, body fluids which are having different pH. Uh, the the uh, blood pH is around 7.35, 7.4 whereas the pH of uh, saliva is slightly acidic uh, at the range of, uh, at the range of uh, 6.5 to 6.8. The sweat pH is different from the pH of tears. The, the gastric juice is having a pH of uh, 1.5 to 2.0. So these are actually made possible or explained uh, on the basis of um, a donor membrane uh, distribution. Uh, like um, you take the here, here we have taken the case of uh, chloride ion, the accumulation of chloride ion, ion in interstitial fluid. The presence of uh, the, or the amount of uh, chloride ion in interstitial fluids is higher when compared to when compared to plasma because in plasma there is a presence of protein anion, increased presence of protein anion which do not move across. So chloride gets accumulated in interstitial fluids. So that is one of the cases and. Uh, Another one is membrane hydrolysis. It's a phenomenon of distribution of H plus and OH minus ion. And we know that the, the presence of H plus ions uh, actually it reduces pH, it increases acidity of the uh, system. Uh, and uh, this H plus ion distribution uh, is also based on uh, donor membrane equilibrium. As we can see, the H plus ions uh, accumulate in gastric juice, and this is being explained by donor membrane equilibrium. Now, uh, here there is another example of uh, the difference in pH of uh, plasma and RBC. Now plasma, the pH of plasma as we know is 7.4 around but RBC is having a slightly lesser pH 7.25 only. This is actually due to the presence of increased presence of H plus ions uh, in RBC in comparison to plasma. So that is a difference in pH. And uh, another uh, application is uh, osmotic balance of uh, uh, of tissues of cells now because of the distribution of differential distribution of uh, these cations and anions uh, the, it actually uh, definitely it influences the distribution of uh, water molecules also so osmotic balance or imbalance is maintained uh, and that is in the, that is being explained by donor membrane equilibrium so thank you